I've had this Matchbox model of the Fisker Karma on my desk for quite a while now, and I finally just got the chance to drive the real car. I'll tell you what, the Fisker Karma gets a lot of attention out on the road, but I'll bet most of the people taking cell phone shots didn't even realize there's a lot more to this car than just a sexy looking body. Uh, Fisker Automotive has a sustainable and accountable design philosophy, which in plain English means we look at the entire value chain of developing a vehicle and try and lower our carbon impact whenever possible. The Karma is the ultimate high-end environmental statement. Fisher has taken pains to make building the Karma as environmentally sensitive as possible. When I get in this car and I see, you know, leather seats, don't you think of leather seats, leather as being environmental? Well, what we are actually doing is we only work with ranchers that follow the Five Freedoms Act, which means the animals are treated humanely during their life. And when we do make the leather, uh, it's made in a plant that's 100% energy self-sustaining, meaning the waste products from the process are used to power the plant. The Karma is an extended range electric car that can go over 30 miles gasoline free on one full charge. After that, the power is generated by a V8 engine with the batteries used to provide additional reserve power. The main thing here is how is this car to drive? And I'm going to take a spin in it and see what it's actually like. Can we do that? Absolutely. Cool. Thanks Let's a lot. Let's do it. The Karma has two driving modes. Stealth mode, which relies mostly on battery power with the gasoline engine coming in only if needed, and sport mode which draws on all the car's available juice, both gasoline and electric. With both a battery pack and a V8 engine, the Karma is no lightweight car. Getting it moving took a good stab at the gas pedal, but underway it rides nicely and of course, it's extremely quiet. The Karma is an expensive car with prices starting at a little over $100,000. On the other hand, a BMW 7 Series or an inexpensive Maserati would cost you at least that much. But this is a car for someone who wants to make a different kind of statement.